What's crack -a everybody? It's your boy Flair and today we are continuing Raft. This is episode 3 and frankly I've watched the whole clip, the whole recording and to be honest there's a lot of grinding, there's a lot of fishing for planks, plastic, leaves etc. And if I was watching the video myself I wouldn't want to watch that because it's boring, it's not interesting for you guys. So what I've gone ahead and done is sped up that whole time frame of grinding. And I'm just going to explain over it what changes I made so that you guys don't miss out on anything. But it's still interesting. When we get to the story in this episode, that is when it will come back to normal. Commentary with my friend Zach as normal. Uh, anyway, if you like the video, of course, hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already for new videos Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Turn on those post notifications, you already know, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So basically guys, in this video, the only advancements we really made were basically we got a stationary anchor, which allows us to hit E next to the anchor and the anchor will just fall down like a regular anchor. We don't have to make a new one every time, as you can see now. We've got Jimmy Choo, he will forever be in our hearts. Rest in peace, Jimmy Choo the shark. Of course, we put that in our new bedroom area up top, which I covered with leaves to make it feel homey, you know, to make it feel like a nice warm, well, not necessarily warm, but a nice pleasant space. Uh, we also got some more smelters. Of course, we moved the sail forward because it looks better. It's a bit of a mess right now on the boat, but you will see later in the game. Uh, we sort that out. As I'm talking to you right now, we have actually finished playing Chapter 1 of Raft. This is why I can talk to you sort of from the future because, um, well, we've already completed the story at the moment. So, the main advancement we made in this video was the creation of the receiver as it's popping up on your screen here it allows us to type in a code on the screen next to it and it will show up as a blue dot now the blue dot represents the next area we have to go to in the story and this is what you're going to see later we eventually go to an oil rig which is the first place you go to and receive another code which you then put into the receiver tells you the different place you need to go to and you travel there and that's how the story progresses and so this was a massive advancement in the game because otherwise you can't really complete the story of course we did other things like collect wood plastic leaves but you know i don't really need to explain that stuff it's pretty self-explanatory so let's get right into the story i was gonna say it's a bit of a short story if it's anything. but it is massive oh my gosh do you think animals will be on this We've got our anchor next to it. Well, I just made two more storage boxes. Whereabouts? I'm putting them upstairs. I'm putting yeah. one upstairs. I'm putting the other upstairs. It's a big boy. It is a big boy. Really fat boy. Right, I'm dropping the anchor. Yeah. Oh, perfect. How do I get up there? Caught a shark named him Bruce. <laughs> That's Bruce the shark. Wait, how do I? How do I get up there? Uh, I just jumped up. There's like an entrance somewhere. It's not letting me jump up. Is it not? There's nowhere for me to jump up. There is. It's around the side somewhere. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got another yeah, note. Caught a shark named him Bruce. Bruce. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is sick. It is. Like, I this is actual story. I, I barely, I barely I'm not. I'm just anything. exploring everything. Bro. This is crazy. A rubbish bin and then... A rubbish bin? Yeah. Well, I found a boat. Yeah, this place is very creepy. 
rubbish so it's a rubbish bin and then a locker and you jump up right it won't let me jump oh okay yeah i found it trying to get up to the next level and i think you have to be parkour ah yeah i'm up here yeah, you gotta do part four to get up to the next level. For an hour, I didn't expect this. <laughs> Wait, there's stairs up here. No, yeah, but to the level after that. No, why did I? I hit. I jumped on your head. You up? Nice. How did you do that? I can't even jump. Uh, I, I don't know. I just did. <laughs> that, that's like the worst ex explanation. But... Bro. The music's kind of. Just... Wait, can you not explore it? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, uh. I can't make this jump. I'm gonna stay right here on the staircase up to the top. Upon the pipe. Bro, this is creepy! It's like Hello Neighbor. It's literally Hello Neighbor. Is there a utopia? I just got an achievement. Whoa! I've got a note. We need to read all of these notes after. Wait, how do you look at notes? I don't know. Um. Is it in inventory? How do I read the notes? Oh, T. T. Note. First oh. page. Oh, wait, so yeah, first page. You are a forward scout. Your raft is a home. Your hook is a friend. Oh, it's like a tutorial. Okay. Others mm. have come before you. You will come after. The world is gone, but its stories remain. Gather as many as you can. Wait. And Two for Pete's sake. On... Wait, I'll read it. I'll read yeah. it. I'll read it. So, uh, two months we've been working on these reactors, two months working to save the world, and with no one to tell our story to. Our names uh, aren't important, they gave us all nicknames after the, former, after the foreman leaked everything about the North Pole testing project. As if that made a difference. Hell, as if any of us can make a difference at all at this point. Sparrow had been uh, wary since the initial pitch, especially over the details that had been glossed over. Apparently, the prototype is nowhere near stable. There was no mention of what happened to the Chinese team that came before us. Ren was supposed to be one of them, but he's not letting anything show. Al mumbled something uh, about the emergency cooling system looking shoddy, which wasn't which wasn't the half of it. But I knew something had to rattle. Uh, I knew better than to rattle on about it. I mean, they gave us some place work uh, to uh, dry to work on. God knows those are in short supply. Let me read the next one. January. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, go ahead. I wish I knew where we were. That we had some place we could point to. Except that radio tower out in the distance. 12, 16, and 8 failed today after three days of testing. 16's core burned so hard and fast it ate right through the wet well. Its payload sank into the ocean, hot enough to burn for a hundred years. Sparrow checked the radiation levels, what's being let out with every test. They said they're going to use those in shelters. We can fix this, she said. And the craziest part is, we agreed. Us four overworked, exhausted, pencil necks, we would save the world. What would be left of it anyway? February. Turns out, Ren blew the whistle on us and it made the people in charge bad. That lightning strike scared me. <laughs> they must have known we were stalling, working on 12 and 24. Those things let us let out so much radiation they burned green, for God's sake. Except, they took them anyway. Sure, Owl and I put up a fight, but they just shoved us around, that bunch of jocks. Took Sparrow and Reactor 8 with them too. After all, Ren knew she was the only one with the smarts to keep them working. They left us behind on the reactor testing platform then blew the foundations. The water's been rising slowly. Al thinks we should go after them. I wish I didn't agree with him. And then... I'll read them. Yeah. If you can understand uh, what you're reading, this isn't... We gunned the engine as hard as and fast as we could, but I think it burned out. We barely made it to the radio tower. 
Al said the boat's useless, but I can fix it. They're probably way ahead of us, but I think they're, they are headed for Selene. I just want to leave this, leave this someplace. Anyone might find it. We didn't, because this. We didn't, because this. But we didn't cause this. We, we didn't cause this. But we damn well helped it along. And by God, we're going to try and fix this. We're going to get there, and we're going to shut down 12 and 24, and we're going to get Sparrow back. And then maybe I will ask her out, oh. and she won't look at me like I'm crazy this time. Al found my notepad, but I got it back. I need to hide it better next time. This marker makes it really hard to erase stuff, but we will get back. We will get her back. We have to. Cuckoo. Or cuckoo. I'm just a bit confused at what these names are. <laughs> uh, they're nicknames. They're nicknames. It said it in the beginning. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. There's got to be more here. I don't think so. We've explored the whole place. Let's go down there. I guess it's just more of the story, really. I guess we sort of have to come there. Um, so where do we go now if we've... Yeah. I'm just checking that everything has been explored. Go for it. I'm going to go back to the raft uh, just to get some water. And then I'm yeah, going to stop yeah. playing for today. Uh, Sick. Oh. I I think it's a code. Same. But I don't know what That's it's so doing. cool though. Anyway. Yeah. I no no no. Oh my gosh, imagine. So I think each place has a code. That would make very good Because you know sense. when we were here, it put you put that one code in and it um it led us to here and the light was green. I think if we find yeah. another one, then it will take us to another place. Yes, okay. That gives me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs>